Hi guys, it's Darren here from Deep Blue Apps. Um, this is a quick tutorial just to show you one way of doing a universal build. It might not be suitable for everyone's game, um, but I've found it's uh, more than suitable for mine. You can see here we've got the uh, landscape, we'll just put that into crop. We'll just restart the game. And you can see now this is iPhone 5. Press on the title page and it goes into the game. Everything's as it should be, iPhone Legacy, again the right size going into the game, everything's in the scene so there's no sort of cropping, um, over scanning, there's no letterboxing and it's pretty neat, and like I say it might not suit everybody because the iPhone 5 is, uh, the art is a little bit distorted, the actors as you can see here, um, but for my game it's pretty much the only way I can go about it. So let's just get in, show you what to do. Go into the uh, attributes, game attributes. You'll need two of these, both real attributes, the camera and the origin. And just set that to 768 for the camera. We'll leave the origin at zero. And now, if you notice here, we've got a controller actor. And this is just checking for the screen size width. So if it's 480, we're changing the camera size height, the origin, and we're changing those two game attributes here. If it's an iPhone 5, then we're changing it, the, uh, the size, the origin, and those two attributes again. I've attached the project in case anyone finds it useful. Just going into the scene, initial scene, this will be probably your first level, or your options, or whatever. Um, da -da 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 -da. You'll notice we've got a controller here as well. And what I will say, put this controller right at the bottom of your stack, right at the bottom of your layers because Game Salad reads backwards. I'm not sure a lot of you know that, but actually this controller actor here will be the first thing that Game Salad reads. Um, and double click on here. And then every scene, just copy this one. So it's just changing the scene camera size height to the game camera, that real attribute we made, and the scene camera origin Y to the other real attribute, the game origin. And that's all you need to do to get um, a pretty nice universal build you'll see here on the iPad this is default change it to iPhone landscape iPhone legacy and there you go and I'll change it to iPhone 5 reset it and there you go guys like I said it might not be for everyone because of the uh, stretching in the iPhone 5 but um, for my game I think it's the way I'm going to go. So I hope you find it useful, guys, and I'll speak to you soon.